Upwards of a dozen families are homeless, homeless tonight after a two alarm fire swept through a Charlotte apartment building. Just devastating. We showed you this apartment fire on Yeager Creek Drive this morning as breaking news. You can see now in the daylight how bad that damage is. Mm. Channel 9 anchor Susanna Black went out to see that damage and she learned that a child's quick actions might have actually saved lives. It's been hours since that massive fire tore through the third floor of this apartment building and take a look. Firefighters are still here working on putting out hot spots. 12 families lost their homes in this, but they're safe tonight thanks to a 12 year old. Just lost everything, just everything gone. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> How Annie Smalls was at a loss, still in shock that today she and 12 other families are now without a home. I wake up to my grandson saying, get up, get out. Um, we're on fire. The house is on fire. And um, I went and looked in the back, out the back window out of his room and the flames were shooting up the side of the house. Investigators say the two alarm fire was accidental. It swept through this building at the Coffee Creek Apartments in Southwest Charlotte around 4 a.m. Smalls lived on the top floor that's now gone. We did have two people that we rescued off of a balcony. Uh, we've had two injuries. One was a firefighter, the other a resident. Both are expected to be okay. Annie Smalls says her 12 year old grandson probably has something to do with that. If he hadn't woke us up, surely just looking at the apartment complex I was looking at, we would surely be dead. I didn't go to sleep thinking that I'm going to go to sleep watching SpongeBob and wake up to a fire. But when he did, Mark Davis said he didn't think twice. I woke my parents up and I went down the uh, stairs screaming, it's, it's a fire, it's a fire. Now they're just thankful they're it's together so much to face whatever on, comes you know, next. I haven't even had a chance to, th to think about where do we go from here? So just kind of you know, just praying to God that we can get things worked out. Susanna Black, Channel 9 Eyewitness News. Quick thinking from that young man must have saved some lives there. Charlotte Fire estimates that the property loss is around $700,000. The American Red Cross is helping the residents who were displaced.